unction in this place. There's a Holy Ghost unction in this place. How many people can attest for? Can attest to that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is righteousness. It is peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. It is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Some of you are going to get joy like never before. There's a joy that is being birthed. Hallelujah. Joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 is right to do something in your life only if you align only if you can align to what God is doing
Shati hiyo Shata ya kosi yata Yesika direction after this some of you will need to rethink about your life Christo akuongo zaye you come ali apa boga nita
Baba yetu wa binguni tunaleta sifa kwako wewe ulinganishwi na yote ni bingu na inchi za kusifu tuwa na moyo za kutukusha wanyama wa pori dege wa anga sifa kwako kwa sema baba yetu
wa Mungu afana omega sema zaidi ya yote utabaki afana omega eh hey. zaidi ya yote utabaki ku afana omega eh hey. badili kika is good. On that same breath, I just want you to lift your hands and tell the Lord thank you for this service. Tell the Lord thank you for this hour. Just lift up your heart, lift up your hands, open your heart to God and tell God today, I pray, let there be an open heaven over my head. Somebody make a prayer, make a prayer. Salaba gandosi alaba. Make a prayer and tell the Lord even as we come together. Father, I pray for a personal encounter. I pray for a personal touch. I pray for a feeling this hour. I pray for another touch. Yesterday was good, but yesterday is gone. Today I am in need. Somebody make a prayer. Rashande gedebe zialabari kandosa bekataya. We are in the presence of God. We must encounter Him. We are in the presence of God. We hunger for Him. We thirst for Him. Somebody make that prayer this hour and tell the Lord we yearn for You. As the deer panted for the water brooks, my soul thirsts for God. My heart hungers for God. I don't know what is your expectation today, but I pray that your expectation will be for Him and nothing less. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us put our hands together even as we celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will not take much time. I want us to just have the, the introduction ready uh, even as we are receiving our Father. Yes. Apostle David Juma is an apostolic leader with an infectious passion for the gospel. He has actively been preaching the gospel since 1983 with the motive to see apostolic ministries and churches activated into winning the world for Jesus. David is the founder and senior minister of Life Church International based in Nairobi, Kenya, with branches around the country. Apostle David Juma is an apostolic leader with an infectious passion for the gospel. He has actively been preaching the gospel since 1983 with the motive to see apostolic ministries and churches activated into winning the world for Jesus. David is the founder and senior minister of Life Church International based in Nairobi, Kenya, with branches around the country and beyond. He also leads Gospel Light Ministries, a gospel agency involved in leadership training, children feeding and educational programs in the slums and conducting outreaches to schools, colleges and universities. Gospel Light College is another useful tool founded by Apostle David to equip believers for kingdom work. Since its inception, this apostolic Bible school has impacted hundreds of believers and commissioned them into their niches in the ministry. He has also founded Lozi Christian School and Maliki Mission Hospital which aims to provide holistic education that integrates academic excellence and Christian development and respond to the growing health, psychological and medical needs, respectively. David is a team leader of the Alliance of Apostolic Churches and Ministries ACCM, an umbrella body for the apostolic churches in Kenya. David is also the founder and leader of Elevate TV, a Kenyan-based television that endeavors to advance the kingdom lifestyle by shaping mindsets and elevate the truth to the nations. He travels internationally into Africa, Europe, America, Asia, Australia and Middle East teaching and preaching the gospel. With love and joy, let us receive our Father. Somebody put your hands together. Open your heart. Father, we just honor you. We just exalt your holy name. There is nobody like you, O oh God. To you belongs the glory, the praise, and the honor. Lord Jesus, thank you for this atmosphere. Lord, do what you must do this morning. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Blessed is your name, Jesus. We ask that your Holy Spirit will begin to do what you must do. Lord, have your way in this place. Thank you, Holy Spirit, O oh God. <clears throat> Blessed be Jesus. Take your place, Lord, and have your way. I'm just a vessel and nothing more. Yeah. When you're done, please take your glory. But be satisfied just to see you glorified. Take your place, Lord. Take the place, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a vessel. Nothing more. And when you're done, when you're done, please take your glory. I'll be satisfied, satisfied just to see you glorify. Take your place, Lord, take your place, Lord. Have your way, have your way. Hallelujah. Just a song and nothing more. Lift your hands, concentrate, talk to Jesus. Thou art well 
come in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place I wish you can lift your head and tell him those words yeah just tell him those words with your own mouth Holy Spirit you're welcome into this place Ibada Isha Anza I've already begun ministering Holy Spirit Thou art welcome in this place Yeah Holy Spirit Thou art welcome Come on tell him welcome In this place Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place hallelujah yeah. hallelujah lift your hands somebody Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have a hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I shout hallelujah. Zigata Something special, Jesus. Aya gazeta ya shazata rabadoja. Ya gazize terazi ya tada tada bata. Ya 
So Lord Jesus, I pray that your kingdom keep on coming right here today and your will, which is already established in heaven, let it be done in this service right now. Lord, have your way in this place. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Clap your hands, all you people. Every time you clap your hands, you shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Wow, welcome somebody around you. Tell them you are in for doctor. There is doxidization of your life. Something is about to happen. I don't know which word is that, but bless God. Thank you for being here. You may be seated in the presence of God. Thank you, worship team. As soon as you see me finish preaching, you run and you come. God bless you. Let's appreciate this wonderful team in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to acknowledge the Lord for giving us the opportunity to be here this morning. And I want to let you know that the Lord will bless you. And there was no amen in the house. I said God is going to bless you. Amen. Want to welcome those online on social media, uh, YouTube, Facebook, God bless you, Live Church in Muru, and uh, the Elevate TV. We are live on TV from morning. Elevate Television is broadcasting this conference live from yesterday, just in case you're not aware. And we're going to push it up to the end because we want many people in the nation to enjoy the conference. So those who are watching from different regions of Kenya, send texts through the numbers you see on screens. Tell us what's going on, whatever you're watching from in Jesus' mighty name. Share the pages if you can on social media. I think you know the protocols because you are younger than some of us and you know better. God bless you. We acknowledge uh, Pastor Tim Wangi who is leading Doxa season three and his wife and the team here in Rimuru. Can you acknowledge them? Come on, the Lord bless this man of God. Uh, he will be joining us very soon. I want to acknowledge all the men of God that are ministering here. And this morning uh, was blessed by pastor uh, from Dubai. God bless you. I was watching. You know, these days you can't hide. You can't hide. God bless you for that. I'm very passionate about regions and territories. I preached about territories the other day. So uh, I was keen to hear what you were saying. God bless you. For good word. Amen. We acknowledge Prophet Paul Monique in the house and it's a joy to have you from Nanyuki. Uh, we look forward to receive ministry from you, sir. It's a joy always to be with you anytime. Amen. And Bishop Joseph Okoko uh, from Netherlands. Uh, let's acknowledge him one more time. The Lord bless you for being here. Now, the rest of you, I'll keep mentioning you as we continue. Tell your neighbor, Atawe Utatajwa Ukijulikana. Nitakuta. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go to, I like all, all the pastors and all the ministers of the gospel. Some of the sons and daughters are here. The Lord bless you. Even heaven can see you are here. Amen. Uh, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 10. Of course, I had greetings from the house. I mean, this is a house, Nairobi, because Pastor Sunta was here yesterday. So although we have one year uh standing greetings we give each other in january say wherever you go this year send our greetings they are renewed every january and they are still operational tell your neighbor you are greeted hebrews chapter 2 verse 10 uh i have a couple of things i want to do this morning i want to uh share the word uh as brief as i can and i think i'm i'm serious i want to spend half of the time or uh or 60% of the time teaching, and then the rest of the time, uh, either I give out the mic uh, to to the guy here or to the Holy Spirit, whoever comes in first. Thank you. Hebrews chapter 10, I mean chapter 2, verse 10, uh, is a story that begins far, but just believe all the verses before. The Bible says, for it was fitting for him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, 
this is this chapter is talking about Christ the book of Hebrews by the way summarizes uh, 13 things about comparisons between the old and the new and in chapter 1 Jesus is better than angels Jesus is better than Moses uh, the new is better than the old and so forth so here uh, it was fitting for him Christ for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons to glory that's a good word to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings Jesus is in the business in this doxa 2023 in bringing you sons of God into glory Yesu hapa mnaweza kuhubiri na Kiswahili Ah uh, Yesu atatuleta katika utukufu wake kwa jina la Kristo. This is going to happen this morning. You'll be brought he is busy bringing many sons to glory, a glorious position. The only man I know who ever defined glory properly was Bishop Isaac Wawira who was here, what a man and a good friend. For, I met him in 1994, uh, first time when we ministered in his conference in Bale in 94. So he said there are 16 words for glory that he will preach in 2024. So bana bachana nao kwa sababu ya jana. Lakini hapa elevation power strength niri jaribu kuhesabu nikajua ametaja nyingi tu wengine mulipotea lakini you must have quick understanding to catch haraka haraka zile vitu anasemaga. Kama jana nisikia kitu kingine amesema ambao ilinibariki sana kwamba wakati alikuwa na Mungu alikuwa na waokoa hawa ambao walikuwa wamefungwa njera you know chapter 4 walichapwa tu njera haikuguzwa chapter 12 eh, minyororo katika but chapter 16 foundations za gereza zilingolewa after that hakuna mtu alipelekwa prison hiyo <laughs> mtashika saa hizi hiyo kesho hiyo lazima mkamate leo Next time Paul was jailed, it was in his own house in Acts 28. Because I jela. May any jailer in this region, in this territory, be blown up. Glory to God. By these terrorists. You remember the words you were using yesterday night? My jambazi. Radical remnant generation. Glory to God in the highest. So this glory here, dignity, honor, praise. Uh, God is bringing many sons to glory. I declare, may he this morning bring you to the place you need to come. As a person, as a minister, as a church, may God bring your family to glory. Jesus is in the business. Don't forget that. Put it in your spirit. He's in the business of bringing many sons to what? to glory glory to god in the highest now uh let me read another scripture uh <laughs> sir i give you the heading of the message uh i will read two scriptures all right uh you are required to your matangazo sasa nianza kuanza kuingia ndani kidogo eh nianze na hii mark ama hii first corinthians let me nisome alafu sasa nitazi nini mark 16 verse 20 the last verse of the gospel of Mark, the Bible says, And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word through their accompanying signs. First reading A. First reading B, because it will be your, no, 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 second reading A, second reading B, because it will be your first reading is always in the Old Testament. Now, Mimi, I'm a New Testament preacher. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4 and 5. The Bible says, First Corinthians 2, verse 4 and 5, and my speech and my preaching is coming. Were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but my preaching, my speech, and my preaching was in what? In demonstration of the spirit and of power. Somebody said demonstration of the spirit and our power. The people on my right, I can't hear your voice. Nimesikia tu kutoka pale. Nyi watu wakatikati asuchana na nyi. Lakini nyi nyi, sijawasikia sishu kushida kwa api. That your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Praise the Lord. So may God bless his word. 
May God bless you. Ungeniambia may he bless you also. Kwani mlitoka kanisa gani? Sawa. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to speak in this session briefly on this matter I'm calling a demonstration generation. God is raising or has raised has brought us into a time into a generation that must be marked out by this big word demonstration we are a demonstration generation what is demonstration in swahili don't tell me kuna wengine wameshika wengine bado muko na 10 seconds delay what is the Swahili word for demonstration? <laughs> Jesus. Siku fikiria juu ya Swahili word when I got the word I never thought I never translated it in Swahili. But I like madamash. Jesus. So maybe your madamano ilikuwa ya kuprepare ujumbe huu. Jehovah. Tafuta kitu wa kuandamaniana for. Look for something you can demonstrate for. Hallelujah. Demonstration generation. God want this generation to become a demonstration generation. What is the demonstration here about? It's a demonstration of the spirit and of power. Now, this background of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, I got this background from listening, no, reading the book by Derek Prince is an old Bible teacher. He said when Paul preached in Athens in Acts 17, he found Athenians who are philosophers. They like talking this, talking that, sharing that wisdom, sharing that wisdom. So he saw there were altars in that region and territory, but there was one altar to an unknown God. By the way, that message in Acts 17 is the first message I preached in an open air meeting in 1983 in Koromone village Gakoromone in Meru town the first open air meeting I preached was Acts 17 verse 30 and 31 I remember because I'm the one who was preaching and the equipment failed that day so there was no sound there was no awunja ire ire kahunja hikweko ire aribika wakani uliza badu mana hakuna sauti badu utaubiri kasama tajaribu tu praise God so uh he tried to philosophize with them. Paul tried to use their method to discuss with them, and share one thing and another, talk that and talk that, say that and say that. And let me tell you, he discovered God did not do a lot of miracles through that method of trying to philosophize like them and deliver summons instead of delivering people. Seller, I post so that your statement in here in your spirit. Glory to God. So he took a journey to Corinth, and uh, this Bible teacher says, as he was going to Corinth, he discovered this method I use in Athens, I cannot use in a metropolitan city like Corinth. So he decided, he determined that when he gets to Corinth, he must demonstrate the spirit and the power because too much talk will destroy the city. But when we demonstrate, something will enter into the spirits of those who are seeing the miracles, who are seeing what God is doing. Somebody say, seeing. Glory to God. And so uh, he decided he's not going to... Uh, preach with human wisdom and persuading them that oh Aristotle Alisema, oh Plato Alisema, oh Nani Alisema, oh Nani Alisema. Iyo pereka kwa seminar ya business people. Aundi wanaitaji kujua vile Plato alifanya biashara zake, Aristotle alifanya vitu zake, ato unaeza kumukuote. Lakini tukija kanisa la Yesu Kristo na ile injili ambao tulipewa na buwana, wacha story mingi. I'm here not only speaking to you. Let me tell you what I'm expecting at the end. God is going to drop an impartation in your spirit so that you can become a demonstration generation in this service. We are here to activate you and to make you uh, become an arsonist. Are you listening? And I already only have how many minutes? 52 minutes. It's a user tire. 
Wameniwekea nini hapa 52, 38, 37, And I'm wasting time 35, 34 Lord have mercy on me Somebody say I'm gonna be a demonstration generation The Bible says in Acts 16 I mean Mark 16 where we read That look The last verse of The gospel of Jesus Christ Now go to Zagasura Inji ndiyo hiyo Go to Mark 1.1. Hebu ona hii Mark 1.1. Ili tuende verse 1 ya Mark 1.1 na tuende verse ya mwisho. Hey, wewe si ukimbie boss mtoto wa pastor. Niwekeva, yeah. The beginning read aloud one to go. Nyinyi mko pale huko mnaona? Sawa. The beginning of what? The gospel of Jesus Christ the son of God. Sasa ilianza hivyo ndivyo ilianza na hapo ndio mwanzo. By zazaza. By verse 32 I mean of this same chapter he is already in the synagogue preaching the gospel. Mark John Mark uh, was interpreter for Peter all this was Peter's message. Peter 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 was uneducated and learned so he was not like Dr Luke to follow genealogies wewe ni baba ya nani kutoka wapi no uh, you know Peter went straight to the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ now chapter 16 Yesu amemaliza kazi amefufuka sasa anaenda juu binguni hawa wameachwa na Biblia inasema and they went out are you in 1620 they went out and preached everywhere they went out they did what zaya puta shazata if you want to see miracles two things i want to put to you quickly one you have to come from the school of christ kama utaona miujiza lazima uwe moja wa shule ya kristo jana tuliambiwa wana wa manabii wale wa elisha Uh, wote walikuwa wanajua ku prophesy so the man of god told us any one of them could have been sent to go and anoint jehu because everybody was there today if we're going to be a demonstration generation we have to come from the school of christ jesus has to teach you how to do these things number two, when you come from the school of christ then do what you call go ye they went out wewe kijana wa posta hiyo scripture ukiona tumesoma scripture inakaa kaa hapo sawa they went out somebody say they went in they went back they, they went where where did they go they went out they went out everywhere hebu simamishe hiyo clock kidogo naona inakimbia sana they went out everywhere they went out listen to me We have a revival that has just started or has accelerated. We in the middle of a different better season like the last three years than the last three years or four years. Something is building up in Kenya and we are grateful. Something is building up in the spirit, okay? The bado kuna a few buttons we need to touch here and there to trigger a movement and uh, that's why I'm here this morning, but I want you to know that they went out. There is no way listen to me there is no way there is going to be manifestation of the glory power miracles and all that if the church does not go out Ask your neighbor are you dead or alive they will tell you they are alive Sindio at least they are alive Sindio kwa hivyo hapa sio mosharis si sawa kwa hivyo hapa hatuwezi kufufua mtu yote Man hapa kuna mtu amekufa lakini mosharis kwa wapi? Okay, amuni sielewi, amuni elewi, lakini mtashikanisha. Bicho umeamua kukaa? Jesus. Zaya zura. Somebody say they went out. The Holy Spirit spoke to me this morning and he said this following. I want you to listen to me carefully. This is what the Lord said. The revivals of the past never happened because of in-house activities of the church. Revival only happens when the church goes out. Mudajua mujui. I tell you the truth. Mimi unajua eh let me give you a little story. 
I've spent all my years casting out devils, healing the sick, prophesying, preaching the gospel, winning souls. I've seen thousands. I don't know of numbers, but I'm sure there are hundreds of thousands of people who have been saved through my preaching over the years. So to Kansas Church in the year 2000. No, Kansas Church, you don't evangelize the church. Church, you know, you to Vizuri, uh, three things about Jesus, four things about the Holy Spirit, five things about how to go to the next level, uh, four types of offerings in the Bible, uh, how it, to build economically the church, you know, how to love one another. So, what do you say when you pasi, when you say, I'm a man of God, I'm a pastor, I'm a soft teach Vizuri, I like the teacher. I say, what do you say? I say, by the way, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Naweza kuzusha nifanye several miracles anasema hapana wewe ni mwalimu mzuri sana unapenda sana you are a very nice man you know uh, so na, na mimi si mbaya so uh, na ni kweli so i mean nikaambia church pale apostolic house tufanye hivi tafadhali we better go out tukafanye ma crusade maana hapo ndio kuna wenye dhambi hapo ndio ndio kuna kuna watu wanahitaji miracles hapo ndio kuna kuna ma demonstration hapo ndio kuna ma vitu mnaweza kuona nyinyi watoto wa Mungu ambao mko hapa kanisani mnafikiria sisi ni ma soft wa kupea seven steps to your success and seven steps to your breakthrough and messages come it doesn't matter you know messages like uh, you know uh, come here go there you know ah uh-uh. tukaorganize crusade kamukunji sema kamukunji walikuwa wamefunga uhuru park na mimi napenda kamukuji because kamukuji that's where kumui came that's where murima did a crusade that's where dahosa did a crusade mimi napenda napenda sana kamukuji kuliko uhuru park na saa hizi nimeanza kupenda ingine iko na hapo isla siju naitwaje chakaranda hey. wakihesabu tuna kazura Motaelewa demonstration generation. Sema ya ma demonstration generation. Mm. Zaya za. So to kind of crusade Kamukuji, uh, two days 400 people got saved. Two days 400 people. We did a crusade three days, 600 people got saved. Five deaf ears opened. One young man who was dumb began to speak before he was prayed for. Mira wakaishuna ni ule ule pasi wa bale Kenya Cinema anakuwa msofti yani ndiye anafanya hizi ma demonstration kwani huyu ni mtu wa aina gani kasema si niliwaambia tukijifungia hapa ndani when we lock ourselves in the four walls there is not gonna be much we'll just be encouraging each other we'll be washing the fish the tenth time we'll be washing the fish the 12th time ile samaki tulivua last year the fish are here this a man from nigeria let me speak in english the fish we have a stand or we we did what we we fished it's a one to me fungwa mdomo we have opened its mouth we have checked whether there is any coin we found it there was nothing so we close his mouth then next Sunday we open it to see whether there is something inside there because we remember Peter fish and there was a fish which had some money we are tunazungukana the morning this morning the holy ghost told me if this revival is going to go to the next level there has to be the church going out going out they went out they went out they went out they went out I declare this generation it is time to get out of that church get out to the open air get out to the shops get out to the market get out to the streets Asado Zada, one of the greatest men of God we know is still Osborne but guess what he told us go out where sinners are this Doxa 2023 is an activation for the church to shift in strategy to shift in method oh my god zakako shazada when you hear apostles apostles are not directors seated in a big office with a label apostle apostles are not uh, uh, heavenly ushers no 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 apostles are not just here looking like they have big rings big ties big collars big cars apostles in the Bible their first thing and responsibility was to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and evangelize 
the world. Though these new apostles, if you are not evangelizing, you are maybe a teacher or a pastor. There are only two things apostles do. They preach the gospel and number two, they suffered for it. They preached the gospel and they did what? They suffered for it. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. The church must go out. They went out. What did they do when they went out? They preached everywhere. They did what? They preached everywhere. What is preaching? These are ordinary New Testament believers. Through the tracing of the mantles on every TV, we have discovered from our fathers that all believers in the past, anyone who got saved, they needed to be filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in much water. That's it. They were now ready to cast out devils, to win souls, to preach the gospel, to see signs and wonders. That's where we're restoring this generation. Una okoka, una jazwa, una batizo na majimengi, you are ready. Kazayada. I declare some of you are too late. You are saved 10 years ago, you are saved 17 years ago, and you can't cast out that devil. This doctor 2023, in this session, I am here to activate you, and I'm going to release a fire. Something is going to shift in your life. You will never, never Never, never be the same again. You must become a demonstration generation. You must learn where to go out. You must learn how to preach. Guess what? The Lord working with you. Meaning what? The Lord partnering with you. Anybody who steps out, God will partner with you. And when you step out, the Holy Ghost will partner with you. He will partner with you financially. He will partner with you in security. Oh my God. If you have an allergy of food, he will make your stomach a missionary stomach. You can eat anything anywhere. Oh my God. Your attitude is good. You can sleep anywhere, anytime. You don't complain. Oh, I want a Mercedes to receive me and escort me. Oh, I want a big bed in a five-star hotel. Get out of here. God is raising a demonstration generation. Ata ukiuma na mosquito, mosquito inakufa na weo naendelea na mission. Zayabada. The week we got married, when we got married, we did two things. One, we went to Mbale. Zaza, Bishop Thomas Mode, he's on the way. We came to your conference. Uh, then we went to Laikipia West. Uh, like keep your ways. Sleeping in a primary school open uh, window room. Then I got malaria. Huh? Seven days. I was given a topic by let fivefold ministry. I was preaching about the fivefold ministry in 1994 August. Now Rusiang will go August sixth. He repeat a juicy. Sikia and Nikiwa kwa pulpit. Sikia maumivu. Nikitoka pulpit. Nikirudi kwa room. Naskia ni mimi ni mwanchoa. I was sick as long as unajani vile mkanyanga hivyo makebos maika ina shida wewe wachana na hiyo boss ni anointing hapana aiko sawa kuna red apple eh what no 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 don't touch it it will operate by the anointing juice ni yongeresa speaker ingine kama hii ili kwenda ngalivi inatupea feedback mbaya I talked to the speaker, he can move your newe, he can change your maneno. All these things can hear us. Man, I stuck to the to Ariza Zayana. Are you listening to me? So as long as I was preaching, no malaria. But as, as soon as I go to the room, then I would feel pain. This is how we were raised up. And I am passionate in this time. This revival. We have to release this Jesse Abwana. All this army. We got to get you out. The Lord will partner with you to protect you, to protect your food, your water, your accommodation. In any case, in this generation, some of you have a car, some of you have a good job, some of you have a digital wife. Last day's wife, she doesn't complain. She's an amazing wife. Ah, the Holy Ghost will partner with you. Glory to God. And then God will go confirming the word. Confirming what? Confirming what? Somebody say the word. God doesn't confirm your story. He confirms his word. If you're going to become a demonstration generation, God doesn't confirm your stories and philosophies. He confirms the word. How? With mighty signs. Mighty signs. Now, listen. So, when I had this in the morning, then a message popped up after two hours from Mark Fiver. I'm going to quote him. He's from the ICAL, International Coalition of Apostolic Leaders. He's my friend. 
I found he had written this on Facebook, so I copied. He said, gathering together to impress one another with our performance is neither church nor kingdom. Gathering together to impress one another with our performance is neither church nor kingdom. And we will certainly not complete the great commission. There is more. Let's find it. That's Mark Farrer. Then I wrote on his page. I said, the Lord, at the same time, just give me a, uh, a word a few minutes ago before I saw this post. Now, vile niliandika sita sema in public, I would tell the man of God. Yeah, what's that you? Because a disclaimer. Foolishness is not my portion. I'm very wise. So I asked the question. If they went out, somebody said they went out. They preached everywhere. For us to become a demonstration generation, I asked the question, what did they preach? So that God can confirm. So that there can be accompanying signs. What did they preach? And what will this generation preach? Because that's important. What we preach is important. Yeah, when I stand with this commandment on, in front of you, what am I doing? It's important. That's what's going to become a major contributor and determinant of how God is going to move. When we don't go nowhere, God does nothing. But when we go, something begins to happen. When we open our mouth and to preach, then something begins to happen. So what did they preach? So let's take a 10 minutes journey. Number one, 1 Corinthians 1 11. I saw something they preached. Ha ha ha. Jazataya, Zato, Zazo. Hizo vitu mina ungala sina said yaga inji ni kai na endelea vzuri sana. Napenda sana sana. Glory to God. For the message of the cross. Are you in 1 Corinthians 1 18? The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. What did they preach? They preached the cross of Christ. The message of the cross. Glory to God. What were the results of that message? There was salvation. What else? There was the power of God. <laughs> this generation, if we're going to become a demonstration generation, we got to understand the message of the cross and declare it. To preach is to tell, to declare, to proclaim, to announce, and then to show and to demonstrate. Zayata. Somebody say the message of the cross. What happened on the cross? You must therefore understand and appreciate Jesus Christ did not come all those years from the, the, the you know 30 years to 33 when he was healing, teaching, and preaching and raising the dead and so forth. That was not his main focus. His main focus was to go to the cross and ultimately die. But he needed to be manifested so that you know he can destroy the works of the enemy and be able to secure the power lines and show this is the devil, this is Jesus. Jesus. That, there was that authority, but now the Son of Man has come. Now he must die on the cross. So this generation must appreciate and understand what happened on the cross of Christ. And there are many resources. The Bible is clear. There are many books you can study. The seven things that happened on the cross. The crown of thorns. You know, or you like the seven words uh, Jesus uttered on the cross. Yeah, glory to God. The meaning of the cross and the transaction. Because this generation, for instance, has lost the message of the cross that's why we have not understood that on the cross that was the greatest altar if you like in Swahili that really shifts everything if you don't understand what happened to the cross Rise, his is out is in Guinea, now is Kafara Zingine, and all these other sacrifices you will neutralize them because you appreciate and understand the main sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. Tell you never become a student of the cross. What was the result? There was salvation and the power of God. 
Glory to God. In verse 24, I mean 23 and 24, there's something else to preach. First Corinthians 1, 23, 24, the Bible says, but we preach Christ crucified. To the Jews, a stumbling block. To the Greeks, foolishness. But to those who are called, both the Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and what else? The wisdom of God. We preach Christ. What did they preach? They preached Christ crucified. Back to the same place. Yeah, Christ crucified. Back to the same place. Christ crucified. What happened when he was crucified? The other day, uh, there was something that went online for some time, a couple of, maybe four, three years ago. The Greek phrase, word, for it is finished. Teterestai. Somebody said tete. Teterestai. And, and my wife preached about it somewhere. It was very powerful that it means three things. One, that the debt is fully paid on the cross. The battle is fully won. Number two. And number three, the sentence is fully served. So when Jesus said it is finished, yeah, all debts of sin are sorted. It doesn't matter the name of your sin. There is something that can set you free. Glory to God. The battle is won. Zayaza. Every battle is won on the cross. And the sentence is fully served. You can't be jailed a second time when you serve your uh, when your neighbor serves the seven years for stealing a chicken and they are now out of prison, you can't take them back because they are fully served that sentence. Glory to God. So they preached Christ and him crucified. Glory to God. Number three, what else did they preach? Romans 1 verse 15 to 17. So, Romans 1 15 to 17. So as much as is in me, I am ready to preach, the Bible says, the gospel to you who are in Rome also. Romans 1 15. We have to drop us Yeah. So as much as this in me, I am ready to do what? To preach the gospel to you who are in Rome also. For I am not ashamed, verse 16, of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first, also for the Greek. For in it, verse 17, the righteousness of God is revealed, the glory of God, as is written, the just. You know, from faith to faith, as written, the just shall live by faith. Guess what? They preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. Somebody say the gospel. Go. Raymond Bonke uh, defined gospel as go, G-O dash, spell. Spell as, you know, spell the word. Go, spell the word Jesus. Which word should you go and spell to the world? And in this verse, three things. When you preach the results are this, the power to salvation, people are saved. Number two, righteousness of God is revealed. Glory to God. Number three, faith for living is elevated. Faith is elevated so that now people can live by faith. Praise God. Oh, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I pray that this generation shall arise as proclaimers and those who tell the gospel. Now, when you see us preaching, you say, well, but David, I cannot preach like you. You know, uh, you have many stories. You, you, you throw your hands a lot, you know, uh, until sometime they get shit, you know, behind your ex because of throwing hands the whole August in 12 conferences. So you say, I can't do that, you do. So uh, there's a book called Evangelism by Fire. You should read that book. Renan Bonke defines the word preaching. He said, the word preach, preacher, preaching appears in the New Testament 112 times. 112 times. The word preach, preacher, preach. Now, he says, only in six places where that word means uh, a discourse. So, you know, a message with a good heading and then a story, three points, and then migu pale nyuma una conclude. You know, not many people can deliver a sermon, you know, and give a very nice homily, you know, uh, and communicate effectively. But he says the rest 106 times the word preach simply means to make an announcement. 
ask your neighbor can you make an announcement after David Juma Mamlesa Kubiri mutoke murango ile usitoke ile murango you can cry that announcement you can use bass altar soprano you can make an announcement surely you can make an announcement that I'm getting married next year come on you can make an announcement who cannot make an announcement here as long as you have a mouth you have a testimony you can tell of what Jesus has done for you so everyone in the new testament is a preacher they preach the gospel look at acts chapter 8 very quickly verse 35 this is a story here of philip with this ethiopian eunuch and you know it's a long story there in acts chapter 8 how there was this guy on his chariot coming from Jerusalem but to worship from verse 26 you know going down towards the desert and so forth then Philip was told you know catch up with this guy join this chariot verse 35 you know he found this man uh, on the chariot reading uh, from verse 32 he was reading the place in the scripture uh, which he, uh, which was saying like this he was led as a sheep to the slaughter and as a lamb before his uh, shearer is silent so he opened not his mouth in his humiliation his justice was taken away and who will declare his generation for his life is taken from the earth this is what the man was reading and then Philip is asked by the Holy Spirit join yourself to this chariot and so he asked him do you understand what you are reading I like the way we used to read those old King James uh, version those days in the in the late 80s and early 90s you know what it was saying understandest thou what thou readest and then the man would ask how can i lest some man should guide me hey, i like that old stuff then philip opened his mouth and beginning at this scripture doing what beginning at the scripture preached jesus to him this demonstration generation must learn to preach Jesus. He preached Jesus from Isaiah 53. That quotation there is actually Isaiah 53. And you can read verse 1 all the way to 8 about Jesus the Messiah. Glory to God. There's something else they preach. Acts chapter 10 verse 34. Acts 10 34 Peter is in the house of Cornelius. And this is the first Gentile guy. Peter was... Uh, uh, called from the house of Simon Atana in Acts chapter 10. He was there in the Simon's house waiting for lunch and he went to the rooftop of Simon Atana's house. What a good place uh, for you to wait for lunch. Glory to God. At the rooftop. That's where Peter was waiting for lunch in the house of Simon. When he was there, he fell into a trance and then he saw four, sh you know, uh, he saw a sheet come from heaven with four-footed beasts on top of that sheet. And guess what? Uh, right there, the Holy Spirit said, Arise, kill and eat. He said, No, 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 I, I don't eat anything uncommon and so forth. Anyway, the long story sh shows that on the other end, when Peter was getting this vision, the other end there was Cornelius, a man who had been given arms and giving and praying to God. And God thought, This guy should not die without salvation. So he tells him, Look for Peter. So Peter and Cornelius are brought together. What happens? Peter finds himself finally in Cornelius' house. Then, verse 34, he opened his mouth and said, In truth, I perceive that God shows no partiality. My God. The next verse, the Bible says, Yeah, but in every nation, whoever fears him and works righteousness is acceptable unto him. And the next verse, the Bible says what? And no, 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 no. Where, where? We preach and you bet this is Naisha and Apia. I thought our pastor Nanini. Verse 36, the word which God sent to the children of Israel, preaching peace through Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. What was Peter doing in Cornelius' house? He was preaching Jesus. Somebody say he was preaching Jesus. And what else was he saying? He was preaching peace. He was also declaring he is Lord of all. And if you follow this story, as Peter was preaching, the Holy Spirit fell down. And these people are filled with the Holy Ghost right there. Without an altar cause. Something happened. Glory to God. Peter, by the way, Peter was sent from Joppa. Somebody say from Joppa. 3,000 uh, years before. Not 3,000. Thousands of years before. The same Joppa is where Jonah was sent to Nineveh. 
Years later, Peter is sent from Joppa to the Gentiles. The Holy Spirit knows what he's doing. And by the way, the day of Pentecost was also Peter's birthday. Hizo vitu ni toa Israel, wakati nilienda kutembea Israel, 72 year old Jewish man akaniambia traditionally this is what they believe. Praise God. So when Jonah preached in never uh sent from Joppa, Peter is also sent from Joppa to the Gentiles. And by the way, siku moja nilikuwa Australia, nikahubiri, kahubiri, kahubiri, then mtu mmoja kutoka Iraq akasema, akamwambia pastor I, I, don't cook for the ministers. I want to cook for the ministers. So, uh, so Sunday night, supper was brought to the pastor's house for us to eat. Guess what? This man from Iraq was actually from Nineveh. I ate food as a result of Jonah's ministry. Mimi hapa, nilikura matunda ya Jonah. Because this guy from Nineveh was saved full of the Holy Ghost and he was an evangelist. His anointing you know, so has cast out devils and to cook rice for my team. I ate. So don't play around with Jonah's ministry. He produced a man many thousands years later. I can pick here. Now I will remove Sasa Munaskia Kwamba. Atai Mate na Toka Toka Ivi. Niki connect Ivi. Atanyini. Munanini Chakura Jonah. To God be the glory. God knows how to do these things. I really want to convince you that for you to be a demonstration generation, you got to begin to become one who interacts with the message of Christ and begin to share, to testify, to declare, to proclaim, to show what Jesus has done for you, what he did in the past, what he is doing now, and what he will do in the future, and you become a conduit, you become a channel, you become a real, a, a real demonstrator, a practical witness that this same Jesus is the same yesterday, it's the same today, it's the same tomorrow. I pray that that comes upon you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. They preach peace by Jesus Christ, declaring that he is Lord of all. Look at Acts chapter 20, verse 24. I'm still following this. I, just two more things and I'm done. The Bible says that uh, Paul here is testifying to the elders in Ephesus. He's telling them uh, how he had preached to them three years uh, and it was time for him to leave the region of Ephesus. Uh, and he's saying to them, uh, well, uh, Agabus, uh, you know, no, no, no. There was a word that you're going to be in trouble when you go to Jerusalem. But he says, verse 24 of Acts chapter 20, but none of these things move me, nor do I count myself dear to myself, that I may finish the race, glory to God, uh, so that I may finish my race with joy, glory to God, I must finish this thing with joy somebody say i must also finish with joy uh and the ministry which i received from the lord jesus that ministry that you received from the lord jesus you too must finish it with joy to do what to testify to the gospel of the grace of god you must become a witness and a testifier mama baba you must become a witness a testifier of what of the gospel of God. You must become a partaker, a witness, uh, one who has transacted, one who has tasted and seen that the Lord is good. Somebody who has experienced the grace of God. You have been forgiven. You have been healed. You have been protected. He has begun speaking to you. You hear the voice of God. You have tasted of the heavenly gift. Glory to God. You have known that God is good. You have the peace of God, the joke. Now, if uh, you are a testifier and then one who has encountered these things, you must share this with the world. You must share this with the world. A demonstration generation is arising from Doxa. I said a demonstration generation is arising from Doxa. Glory to God. Shapayandaza. Yoko Look at verse 25. The Bible says, For I determined not to know anything among you. Where we? Second Corinthians, Ina Sumbua we sana mkijana. Kukuna vita ule kumi, tumia mbiri tu. And indeed now I know that you all, huh? indeed now I know that you, where we? Yeah, you all, among whom I have gone, uh -huh, gone preaching what? The kingdom of God will see my face no more. You can see the emphasis of Paul's life. Preaching what? The kingdom of God. That's the other thing they preached. Remember, they went everywhere. 
They went out and preached everywhere. What did they preach? The kingdom of God. Look at the last verse in the Acts of the Apostles. Acts 28 verse 30 and 31. And Paul dwelt two holy years in his own rented house and, and received all who came to him. What happened with him? Verse 31. Preaching the kingdom of God and teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence and no one forbidding him. What was Paul preaching? The kingdom of God. Somebody say he was preaching the kingdom of God. If you begin to preach these things, God will partner with you and accompany that word with his signs and wonders. Did you hear what I said? God will accompany that word with signs and wonders. Lift your hand and say, I want to be a demonstration generation. Are you sure? Oh, it's because I've told you to lift your hand. Can you lift your hands in voluntarily or voluntarily and say, ah, I want to be a demonstration generation. God shows no partiality. Any man, somebody say any man, any woman, in any nation, say any nation, who fears God and works righteousness is acceptable unto him. We just read, God will use you. God will use you. Kazota Bayada. I just said God will use this generation. God will use you in the school, in the workplace. God will use you. Hallelujah. In your neighborhood. God wants to use you. I don't know whether you are ready. God wants to use this generation. Let me conclude this way, ladies and gentlemen. God is still uh, sent Jesus Christ to bring many sons to glory. We read that our God is a God of miracles. He is bringing many sons to glory. Hallelujah. In the last couple of months, I have been pushing in the spirit, saying I want these miracles everywhere we preach the gospel. And I've seen in the last couple of meetings, so many deaf ears opening. Ah, God is still healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Last Sunday, in our assembly, there was a young man down there who as we, when we prayed, his ear just got opened without even us touching him. I tell you the truth, I'm believing God. Another day, a young man, I mean a woman came to the apostolic house, paralyzed on one side. The hand was not moving. She had a dream. She had a dream. Go to uh, uh, Life Church and Apostuma is there. You will be healed. She, she After the dream, she came all the way from Gong. She came to our service and and unfortunately, I was not there because I'm always preaching here and there, and especially there, like Jeff says. I've seen Jeff last born there. God bless you. You know, preaching here and there. Let me tell you, apostolic ministry has to do with the preaching out there and raising and mobilizing everybody to become a priest and to God, to become a minister in the marketplace. But wherever you go, whether in the business world, whether in the school world, whether in governance, whether in parliament, cast out devils in parliament and use some MPs as lane. We were somewhere with Bishop Wawire in a very high level meeting. I can't make for security reasons to kaomba to kaomba to gachomerea inji ni kanini temperature kapanda zaga zaga I feel the power my God we began to prophesy and as we began to prophesy it didn't matter who was in the meeting because some of the people in the meeting some of the the titles they have is the kind of titles my friend that we found in Deuteronomy which we read which you shall not read because I don't want you to understand and then uh, all of a sudden the Holy Ghost moving Zayeta then the man of God uh, began to hey 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 I I I I I, I pray for you God is hey, just to touch the fingers a guy and a boo 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 a kabebo uko zagayeta in a very payasata ay 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 others where the taja yo mahali God is moving everywhere. I declare you are a demonstration generation. I declare you are a demonstration generation. Anybody who tries to get sick in your house, before you call the doctor, before you call the nurse, you are their doctor, sister, so and so. You must bring the kingdom in that place. At a temperature, Ziki Nuka, I tell you, you can bring down the temperature. You can speak to the blood. You can speak to 
fever. Fever is the most common thing. Ah, fever is very common. Unasikia fever. Unasikia temperature. Nani anayake? I say to you, this generation, you must begin to heal malaria. You must begin to heal fever. You must begin to cast out devils. You must begin to rebuke the spirit of death. When death visits your people, you can smell it from a distance and you will save many people. This generation, in this morning, I want to pray for you and I want to declare a couple of things. Barakaro Sataya, Jazata. I need to tell you these four things. Ah, Jakato. Miracles happen in these four atmospheres. Miracles are happening in these four types of climate or atmospheres number one in the power of the holy spirit wherever the holy ghost begin to move in the power and the presence of the holy ghost there will be miracles like now right here there will be miracles in the next five minutes right here right now i say right here right now even those online and on television and social media miracles are about to happen right now in the next five minutes in the mighty the name of Jesus. The gospel, even the evangelical conferences are uh, Lausanne, Amsterdam, Cape Town, all these evangelical conferences, they all said in the books and writings, part of which I have, they all say the gospel must be preached in the power of the Holy Ghost. You don't try to preach with your human wisdom. Uh, Bible school is good because we in Africa, we go to Bible school after 15 years of ministry to confirm that the things you have been doing are accurate. Shazaraba, Musitulete, at Kwamba to break up to Bible school. Kwanza Pana, to now Yesha Jizia Kuskuma to Magawana, Wana Pokea Fire, Kabla Janda Bible School, Kujo Kuskuma in Baya. Are you listening to me? We must first demonstrate the gospel. Take them to the challenge we can. When girls and boys begin to manifest, tell these thin small boys who are eating chips and sausage only because they have no job. Tell them, lift your voice and tell that devil to come out. They'll be shocked that demons will come out. They'll be shocked. They'll be shocked. Without going out, there is no revival. Tell that to two people, one on your right, one on your left, without going out. There's no revival. Here we only do training and preparation, but we go out. So number one, the power of the Holy Spirit. Number two, the use of the name of Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Somebody shout the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, we cast out devils through the name of Jesus. We preach in this name. The crippled man at the gate beautiful received this miracle. Oh my God. Read this one for me. Read this one. Glory to God. Acts chapter 3 verse 16. Very quickly. In the name of Jesus. When a man was here, Peter needed to explain what happened. Glory to God. In Acts chapter 3 verse 16. In his name. Ha, through faith in his name. Has made this man strong. Whom you see and know. Yes. The faith which comes through him. Has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all oh somebody shout the name of jesus ah it's gonna give people sound perfect soundness by the way vijana come on out of china ministry as long as uh, uh, perfect soundness ministry is international somebody say perfect soundness ministries hey. Now your ministry in your miracle signs and wonders. Somebody shout perfect soundness. Kuna mudwa meshika. Hey. Ya, ya, ya. Juzi, tukwa tunafanya nini? Tukwa sema God is able to give you acres of diamond. Ah, to release, release. Ujama kasema kati acres of what? Aga kimbia yos kuingine kule kwa register, aga register, acres of Dhamud homes. And he made some money, baka kanunuwa gari, kazora yada. For we are giving people destiny. Somebody say, through his name, this man has received perfect soundness. 
We need the Holy Ghost. We need the name of Jesus. Number three. In obedience of faith to the word of God. Miracles happen when people obey by faith the word of God. Say obedience to the faith of the word of God. Or to the word of God. English ni nyingi too. The key words are obedience of faith to the word of God. When the word is preached, mix it with faith, obey, you will see miracles. The gospel in the nations, when people obey, they receive their miracles. That's how I've seen miracles in Pakistan. We arrived in Pakistan 2008. Intercessors from South Africa told me, uh, David Juma, don't go to Pakistan, Kubaya. I said, no, no, no. May I go anywhere? When I was uh, in, uh, when I was young, I used to say, I can preach anywhere, including hell, if I can stand the heat. So Pakistan is not hell. So we went. But as soon as I arrived at the airport, there was an explosion. A, a terrorist, uh, they blew up a 14 floor building. It was on the screens. In the airport, we were walking after immigration. It was on the screens of CNN saying Pakistan is on fire. Uh, and we arrived. My wife was wondering, what is this man? What is he doing in the wrong place? I, I, I said, no problem. The following day, uh, we were in the gospel convention. You don't use the word crusade there. Convention. Say convention. You don't preach about Jerusalem. You don't mention Israel. But preach God of, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Jesus. Where were you? So, in the crusade, there was no way we, we were told to preach, but don't make an altar call. Because you don't know who is coming near. With the word. So they put a big rope. So preach from a distance. You better manifest power from a distance. No laying on of hands. So I preach, I said in the name of Jesus. Hundreds of people got saved. We couldn't count because there was no way we would have said to go up booklet your salvation, uh, register and in a partner. How many want to get here? Because by the way, anytime you see people getting saved. Is enough sign is about to do miracles. Anytime you see people getting saved, the same Jesus. If you hear Jesus ask a question, what is easier? To say your sins are forgiven you or take up your bed and walk? By the way, by the way, ask your neighbor what is easier? Actually, what is easier? To say your sins are forgiven you. It looks like it's easier to tell somebody your sins are forgiven because telling somebody to take their bed. But listen, that's not the meaning of that verse. The meaning is this. That if you can say your sins are forgiven, you can also say, take your bed and walk. If you can get people. Okay, Sasa Imesha. Nakini Miss Jaisha. If you can say, give me another mic. If you can say, your sins are forgiven you. You can also say, no, I'm asking you. Tell your neighbor, take up your bed, although you are seated here. Take your seat. He goes, how? I'm a, what is it? What is it? What is it? I'm well guided. If you can tell anybody your sins are forgiven with the same breath, same authority, you can tell them you are healed. How many of you want to try this week? Just tell somebody. Let me tell you. Guy. You will see Lazarus rise from the dead. Just go and try. Just try. Just try. It is your time. Tell your neighbor, it is your time. We were in the mortuary another day. I laid hands on the tummy of the cow. I said, rise from the dead. But I, I, have, I will not stop trying. I will not stop trying. I will not stop trying. Because I've seen it in the dreams that I'm raising the dead. And the time is this season. But don't die right now. We are no Kazogaya. Die tomorrow, Shazabara. 
I say in the name of Jesus, take your bed and walk. And I declare right now, Sakaro. Yeah, I have five minutes. 2.5. Zayada. Wherever Rudisha 5, Umenibia Mbiri. So, so, number one, in the power of the Holy Ghost. Number two, in the name of Jesus. Number three, no be just to the faith. Faith comes by hearing. So you have to preach the word for them to hear the word. When they hear the word, they obey by faith. Then something is going to happen. And finally, in partnership with the Lord, in partnership with the Holy Spirit, in partnership with God. This thing is not us doing it. It is God moving in our midst. We don't do these things by our own ability. It is God doing it. Praise God. It is Him doing it, not us, not me. It is Him. As your mimini ye ye. Ah, mimini ondoke ye onekane. I humble myself. Let Him do the work. Glory to God. Ah, in partnership with the law. The law will confirm the word. This is a demonstration demonstration generation this is a demonstration generation you are a generation that is going to demonstrate the power of God Badoja Zatayada close your book Zagataya Bagatoja Zataya Matada begin praying the Holy Ghost wherever you are Shikata Razoro Paya Mandada when the music fails and all is stripped away and I simply come yeah just long to see something that's of one gonna your wimbo that will bless your heart. I bring you, I bring you more than a song. Lift your hands, say, It's not what you have required. You searching much deeper within, yeah. You search much deeper. The way things are big. You're looking into my heart. I'm coming back, say. I'm coming back to hell. Oh, Where is all about you? Say it's about Jesus. service you need a miracle quickly run to the front anything you need God to intervene in your life quickly Arakisha 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 if people are many, you don't need to kneel so that everybody can feed. Stand up on your feet, lift your hands. It's all about you. Come on, quickly, quickly. It's all about you. 
Come close to the platform. Come closer. It's all about you. It's about Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. When it's all about you, say it one more time. It's all about you. to pray in the name of Jesus and you receive your miracle now. Lift your hands before God. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. I don't know whether you are desperate really for a miracle. Uh, you would have been more passionate than you are. Push it in prayer. Come on. If you really, really, really want a touch from God. Pray. Those of you online, power is coming where you are. Demons will leave your house. Your body will get healed. All those aches on your feet are getting removed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Miracles, the anointing has already begun to touch. Before I even pray, people have already begun getting healed. Take it, my sister. Take it, my brother. Take your miracle already. Zakaragada. Bula Sayabada. I command devils, witchcraft. Already receive your miracle. Over there, Shazara. Bakopa. Zakota. Shazora. Yosha Yomikolo Juya Kijo Chako. Hapo di Obwana Yupo. Hapo di Obwana Yupo. Arasa Rabaka. Shazora Katia. Shazera Katia. Sharo Parazia. Zare Sada. Barakapo, Ziataraza, Masete, Shazo, Tabo, Zatara, Ziatada, Bagate, Shaz. If you have problems with your eyes, you are getting healed right now. You have problems with your ears, you are getting healed right now. You have problems with your stomach, you are getting healed right now. You have problems with infections, you have problems with allergies, you are getting healed right now. Zatara, Zada, if there's a curse over your life, I break it in the name of Jesus. Baro, 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 Baro. Zaro, Zaro, Yakaro, Zaro, Zada, Aitato, Shaza, Ikato, Zada. I rebuke the spirit of darkness, Sharo, Zaraba. I command witchcraft to break it, Zaro, Zapa, Baro, Zata. Right now, right now, right now, whatever is not possible with man is possible with God. Whatever is impossible with man is possible with God. Whatever is not possible with man is possible with God. Zara bara, zezera za, baro zatia, zakati shosoda, ya badado shatada, zato shazadia, mandara zeteta zatada. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm praying right now. And when I finish and I say in the name of Jesus, you take your miracle right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, the name above every name, these men and women are pushing in for a miracle, supernatural intervention. Whatever men cannot do, you're about to do it right now. Jesus, you're opening somebody's womb. Sarata. A mother, a woman that cannot be a mother, a sotapara, I command that womb to be ready to receive a seed and receive a baby. I break the curse, I break the blockage, I command next doctor, you come with your baby in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare, receive your miracle right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke witchcraft, I rebuke darkness, I command every power of sickness and disease. Out of your body, I command every spirit of the hell. Get out, spirit of pain, spirit of pain, Sarasada. Every growth, every fibroids be healed, growth disappear, swelling skull in the mighty name of Jesus. I command your ears to open. I command your ears to open. I command your eyes to see clearly, 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 clearly. In the name of Jesus, thou deaf spirit, come out. You black spirit, come out. Kasa, be healed. Zara, Zara, para, para. Zoko, Kokoto, Zara, Zakapa, Sharo, Kakapa, 
Shaya, Sarosa Tata, Asatora. This one, receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Barasara, I destroy the power of the enemy over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody keep on praying, keep on pushing. Something is happening right now. Tesarazia, take your bed and go. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command your tummy heal. I command them, all that infection to go in the name of Jesus. I command them, Zariah, arthritis be healed. I command asthma be healed. I command high blood pressure be healed. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command everything that is against you come out of your body. Oh, Sarabada. I want you to shout Jesus five times. Right now, everybody. One. That's a name by which every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Two. Help me, I want to know what has happened to this woman. I command that spirit to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. Be set free, Mama. Kara Zagabara. I command that spirit. Come out. Jesus. Now lift your hands and thank God. Begin to thank God. By faith, begin to thank God. You are healed. You are set free. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank the Lord Jesus. Come on, tell him I'm well. Tell him I'm well. I'm not going back to that pain no more. I'm not going back to that challenge no more. You that are watching on TV, receive your miracle wherever you are. Receive your miracle online. Receive your miracle in the same name of Jesus. Receive your miracle. Kaya Zagata. Shapaya Bada. Yagado Shazada. Everyone lift your hands. Now I release this impartation. You go and demonstrate. Go and do likewise. Go and demonstrate. Go and preach Christ. Go and preach him crucified. Go and announce and tell the world that Jesus is alive. Go and tell the world that Jesus Christ is him yesterday, today and forever. Go and tell them in school. Go and tell them in the world. Shaparaza. Go and tell them. Shaporaza. Yakataza. Lift your hands right now. Tell the Lord I'm ready to go and demonstrate. Yeah, yeah. In that high school, in that church, in that community, in that office, I'm ready to demonstrate the power of God. I I declare to you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I pray, oh Father, let this generation arise as a demonstration generation right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You will go out and God will walk with you. He will confirm the word, his signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, child of God, right now, woman of God, right now, man of God, I declare to you, you are receiving right now an impartation in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. You also go out. Now as you go out, receive this power of the Holy Ghost. Go and do it. Go and do it. Go and testify. Go and tell. Go and declare. Go and lay hands on the sick. Go and cast out devils. Go and preach the gospel. Go. The Holy Ghost is with you. The Holy Ghost is with you. The Holy Ghost is with you. 
the Holy Ghost is with you. Thank him as you pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank him as you pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank him as you pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank him as you pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank him as you pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank him as you pray in the Holy Ghost. Zagatosha Zagataya. Come on, lift your hands everywhere in the hall. You are going out as a demonstration generation. Thank him. Thank him, thank him. Shakapagoto Mosha. Bagapara Zakadias. Yagatosha Zakadia Gata. Yaga Zagatosha Zagata. Bagatosha Zata. You are demonstration generation. Jesus Father we give you all the glory for what you have done thank you for the healings thank you for the healings thank you for the supernatural thank you for the miraculous thank you because as we go out you will confirm the preaching with the signs wonders miracles and demonstration of the spirit and of power thank you for these apostolic commissioning and thank you that everyone standing here lord this was the appointed day for their miracle thank you because they are testifying some of father by the next year such a time they will come as hannah came back to shiloh with what you have already delivered unto them we give you honor and we give you glory we declare this momentum can only go upward because of what you have purpose to do in doxa 2023 let thy name be lifted even in this tent in jesus name we have prayed i say in jesus name we have prayed Those who are here, it is done. It's only that we don't have time to receive the testimonies. It is done. Some of it is instant. Others it is progressive. But what I can assure you, next year, such a time, it will be a different story. You will surely testify. Hallelujah. I know what I'm talking about because we have seen this God and there has been a demand over your life when this meeting was being organized. The miraculous is when the power of God suspends the power of reality. It's not just in healing. Healing is part of the miraculous. But miracle is when there is a suspension of the orders of nature. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing is just part of that. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Every day is every day. In Doxa, we cannot tell you that the end justifies the mean. Every day is every day. So if you're waiting to come on Sunday, I tell you whatever was delivered yesterday, you won't get it on Sunday. Whatever will be delivered today, it will not be there tomorrow. Whatever will be there tomorrow, it won't be there on Sunday. And whatever will be there on Sunday, you can't get it today. So tell your neighbor, neighbor, Every day is every day. Allow me to let's let's, let's just uh, receive our guests uh, in the in the tent. Let's appreciate them. Prophet Monique is here. Let's appreciate them. Jean Ala is here. Remember, these are prophetic apostolic meetings. So there is a time where the clock is suspended. So please don't look at your watch. You might get offended and miss what God is doing. When prophets enter, atmospheres shift clocks. Ah, it's time to give. It's time to give. After clapping, you get in your pocket. You get in your phone. We say that the language of worship is sacrifice. Revivals are expensive. 
I remember there is a meeting that was organized in Kenya that costed 33 million. And what I've discovered, and I've been in prayer, there is an attack in the treasury because money does not come from heaven. The only time God partners with the will of man is in matters giving. Okay, I repeat. God can bless you and will bless you. And God can bless you to be a kingdom financier, but God will not force you. So at that time, it is like the time when Jesus went to negotiate for the will. He said, Father, it is possible to take away this cup. Though Jesus was ordained for death, God could not force him. That negotiation where he said, if it's possible to take away this cup, the whole of heaven was in tension because if Jesus refused, the destiny of humanity would have been done with. So God will bless you, but God will not force you. So how is the treasury of Zion being attacked? I can assure you the intercessors are praying for the move of God. I can assure you the fivefold has been anointed for the revival. So the devil will not attack the prayers. The devil will not attack the preaching of the preachers. But the devil will attack the facilitators. Because that realm is pegged to a man's will. How much you give, no one forces you. It is your will. And God has blessed men. And one of the attacks I'll tell you is there are many genuine kingdom financiers that landed in the hands of con men and they diverted their resources. They, they are genuinely givers, but they gave in low, wrong avenues. And they made conscious decisions. My money, what they failed to understand is not their money. It's the kingdom resource. And at that time, there are so many attacks because the kingdom supply is connected to obedience. I pray if there be anyone that God has anointed as a kingdom financier, may the Lord restore you to the place of your ordinance. And I stand on this altar and I repent for any man who stood as a man of God and manipulated you in the areas of giving and you felt abused. I want to declare may the Lord restore you because the moves of God are tied to prayer, preaching and giving. Meetings are expensive. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. I decided to give a committee to plan for this meeting. They did everything. And then they brought the budget. I asked them, how do we get the money? Told them, now feel how preachers feel. And uh, tell you the truth, there has been many challenges on our, on our WhatsApp group. Until I know there are people asking, Tunato Atena. And after all these challenges, we've not even reached half the mark of our budget. So I want to call them for a meeting and tell them, you see, shouting revival is the easiest but the process, prayer, giving, is the hardest. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, shouting revival, updating it on Facebook, saying the days of power back is the easiest, but it is expensive. And this is the mystery. There is no money in heaven. Even Jesus never prayed for money. When they were asked for money, he said, go and fish. In that fish, there is coin. Now, do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? I will make you fishers of men. From today, you will not fish fish. So that tells me, if you are here, someone fished you. So you came with coin. Tell that neighbor, coin is not good for fish. Please help me evangelize. Tell that neighbor, neighbor, he's talking about you. And some of you are a good fish because you're a big fish. According to the guzzler you have packed there, you are a big fish. You are a whale. So that means you have enough capacity for coins. You know, men cannot carry coins. That's a small fish. <laughs> Father, we bless you. And we thank you for what you're doing. Lord, we give because we love you. We give because it's a privilege to partner with the king for kingdom assignments. We give because we are pulling out of what you have entrusted us with. 
We give because it's revelation that propels men to give. And it is the revelation of your Lordship. We give because we understand we are just custodians and stewards of what you have entrusted us to handle. We give because we are blessed. We give because this is the key of access. Because blessed, it is more blessed to give. Lord, we give because this is the only area where we access more in the title blessing. And we give, Lord, because we know there is a need in the kingdom. And you have facilitated us to be the ones to take care of that need. Even as we give today, Lord, may this sacrifice, offering, seeds, tithes ascend before the throne. Because they don't come to you as money, they come to you as an aroma. May they fill the quarters of eternity. And may they provoke a dimension of glory to fall upon your people. And it is in Jesus' name we have prayed. Them that are watching online, the giving details, even those who are here, you want to give you the phone, it's 32.59.59. That is M-Pesa Buy Goods and Services. You'll see Life Church International, 32.59.59. Those who are giving from abroad, uh, the different continents of the globe and you're using wave and remit you can use 0726714713 and those are the giving details we will meet at exactly two we have some vendors there they are selling some few snacks but if you want to stay here and continue in prayer please you're invited we just have a small break of around 25 minutes at exactly two we'll be back here for the next session and in the next session we have dr mode and prophet monique something began yesterday <laughs> okay it looks you under the anointing i don't know who said being under the anointing you don't joke you don't laugh it is okay kenyans believe kuku are serious and kuku anointed it is okay may god bless you see you at two amen put your hands together for our father in the house i can do better than that hallelujah amen as it has been said, um, we'll be back here in the next uh, 30, uh, 25 to 30 minutes. For now, I want us just to be, you know, as we are seated, we are, I want us to.